Hello everyone, welcome to Prickles Gaming. Welcome to this week's episode of Prickles Plays. Today, we are going to be checking out Besiege. So, I have never played this game before. I have seen a couple of people play it online, and I've, I've heard of the game. Um, but I personally have never played through any of this. So this is a completely blind playthrough, so I'm looking forward to this one. Um, okay, it looks like there's different worlds here. It looks like we have this one unlocked. Alright, let's go here. And I've played through the first couple of levels to make sure I understood, like, what I was doing. Um, it looks like, though, it's not giving us the first vehicle, but that's okay. Let's build it ourselves. Let's build one ourselves and have some fun with this here. So, I know for a fact that we're going to need some steering at some point, and things of that nature. So we're just going to go ahead and, and future-proof our, our vehicle here a little bit. We're going to put some hinges on to make it so we can steer. And we'll get the wheels on here as well. And that'll be good enough for now. All right. And we've destroyed the house to conquer the zone. Nice. All right. To the next zone we go, and there's all kinds of different things that we can get. We can get a crossbow, a cannon, shrapnel cannon, rocket, a vacuum, a flamethrower, we can get armor, what's all this, timers, sensors, okay cool. I think we should get a cannon, personally. I do believe that this one you can beat. Well, at least I was able to beat the one time by just driving up on it. There we go. Oh no, we flipped over! <laughs> okay. Well, let's restart here. I think, actually, it might be a little bit better if we get some blocks here. What if we mount our cannon? Um, right on top of here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And then, is this high enough though? It's not high enough to hit. Okay. So we're going to have to figure out how we're getting up on top of this hill here. There we go. We got it. Just drove right on up there. Okay, so this one we should be good to go already. We'll shoot off our cannon, destroy the carts, and there we go. The zone has been conquered. On to the next one. Alright, so this one is also pretty straightforward. Um, and this is actually, I think, the last level that I played before I stopped when I was trying to check it out. Oh, I feel so bad for the sheep. Oh, I've been caught on fire. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, boy. We've lost control and ran into that other mine. So let's restart here. You know, what if we just... We're getting some achievements. That's cool. Not that that really matters, but... So the sheep try and chase us down. I don't want them to chase us down, though. I just want to get over to our completion zone in peace. These hinges that we have letting us steer our, our wheels are very, very valuable here. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now this one, we can start on the ground. So we need to destroy those two houses over there. And... Looks like there's a wall here. I wonder if we can shoot that mine. It looks like a mine. Yeah, that's a mine. With our cannon. Because there's a bunch of guys up here that are going to try to keep us from getting through. So let's shoot. Oh, yeah. Good shot. All right. So now let's see if we can go and take out these houses. I'm a little worried about getting stuck on these blocks. So maybe we go around. There we go. We're definitely going to need to work on... Maybe we should put a, a four-wheel drive on this thing. Might give us some more maneuverability. There we go. We got that house. Let's see if we can push right on up here and take out the windmill. Perfect. 
Zone conquered. Oh my. Okay. The Queen's Fodder. So I think it's time we retool here a little bit. Um, I want to go back to the weaponry. I feel like this would be a good time for the flamethrowers, right? Let's get a couple on the front. Let's get some on the sides. And we'll let them all charge at us, and then we'll just release the flamethrowers. Or we could do the circular saws, I suppose. Let's give this a shot and see what happens here. So let's wait till they get close. And, oh, our flamethrowers did not go off. Okay. So how do we ignite the flamethrowers? Well, oh, press Y to ignite. That would be why we couldn't do anything here. Oh, there we go. Oh, but that is still not good enough. We need more armor. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is a disaster. There's so much violence. <laughs> So that was not enough for us there. So we're going to need to armor up a little bit, it looks like. So let's get rid of these flamethrowers, I think. And let's focus on making this a little bit more armored. So I think the first thing I want to do is I want to make this four-wheel drive. I think that will give us a little bit of extra maneuverability. Let's get on our wheels here. There we go. Okay. And now, let's see what we got here. Ball joint, spinning block. So how do these circular saws work? What if we put, can we put circular saws on... How do I mount this here, I guess is the question. Um, metal plate. So we can put a metal plate on the... to cover up the wheels. That'll help. That will absolutely help. Brick pad, a wooden panel, a plow. Oh, how does the plow work? Can we put that on the front? So why does it say we need an intersection? What is that? I guess that means we need one of these, the small wooden block with the intersection on the front. Okay. I want to put that plow on the front, though. That's cool. There it is, the plow. Intersection. Still don't, don't quite understand. Is this too tall? Is that the issue? Or, or maybe... Uh, how do I adjust the angle of this object? Maybe we need to go underneath. So let's... Move this vertically, somehow. Translate machine. Hmm. Interesting. It's not really letting me move it. See, because I feel like I need to be able to mount this underneath. Oh, I need to delete that. I wanted to delete this. There we go. Hmm, so how do we raise this back into the air? That's achievements. We don't want that. Oh, here we go. Translate. Ah, there we go. Perfect. So now, can we mount the plow? <laughs> Not in the direction we want. Okay. So there's got to be some button we press. Uh, let's look at the key bindings if we can. Key mapper? No. So how do I... Options, controls... Building, delete block, flip or reverse block, rotate block by 90. R. Okay. R, R, R. Oh, but I guess that's rotating it. 
kind of on like the the axis, the one axis. I'm not rotating it. Um, let's look back at this. F to flip block. It's not flipping the block for me. I put it like that, but that's not really... Hmm. I mean, I, unless we're supposed to... So yeah, it's just... I don't understand exactly which way it's wanting us to mount. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. I'd like to I'd like to put it underneath with it sitting outwards. Like I need it to be flipped from this. Hmm. Okay, well maybe that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Tried and failed. We can get some metal plates on here, armor this thing up a little bit. I think we're going to want, um... What does the log block do? Oh, that's kind of cool. We can bound it all together, okay. Unless, what we want to do is delete those, delete those. We can put single blocks here. And we can put weapons. We can put a flamethrower in the middle. There we go. That's cool. I think I want to get rid of that because I want to get a couple of shrapnel cannons. I feel like those are facing the wrong direction. Yeah, I definitely think that's forward. Okay, cool. And so we can't put like the circular saws on the wheels, which kind of stinks, but... Oh wow, we can make flying objects. That's cool. So I'm kind of curious. What 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 does this do for us? What button presses the can? Okay, so the cannons fire with C. That did not a whole lot for us there. Yeah, we are destroyed already. Okay. So, I think we maybe fire, fired the shrapnel too early, was our first issue, but also we still need, we need a lot more armor on this thing, so. Let's get some armor there. Just armor up this whole top here. So we are completely armored now. And then, is there anything we could put on this top part here to be useful for us? It has 30 bolts, the repeating crossbow, water cannon. Drill, metal blade, metal spike. I almost feel like we should put the spikes on the front here. And then see what happens now. Oh. All right, this is working. Is it going to be enough, though, is the question. Uh, that's all we got. I don't know if it's going to kill enough to be successful, though. This is a challenging level compared to the other ones. No, I don't think we got enough damage done. Dang. Okay. So maybe... Maybe the solution is we need to just be going all in here, basically, on some kind of spikes and such. Um, so 
So how do these circular salts work? I'd love to be able to put that on. So can I mount one here? Oh, I sure can. Okay. So let's put those down. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's get some armor on here. Okay. I don't, I'm not even convinced this will drive, if I'm being completely honest, actually. Looking at the saws, they're bigger than the, the wheels, so... <laughs> um, but let's give it a shot, anyway. Oh, there we go. Let's fire up the flamethrowers. Still don't think we're doing enough damage, though. Ah, uh, close, but not enough. Okay. So. How do we make something more resilient to the damage of the archers? I mean, even with the armor, it's not really doing much of anything. Can't layer the armor, really. So let's just delete everything. Let's completely scrap this design and try something new. There we go. So. Maybe the logs are stronger than the, the normal pieces? I'm not sure. Um... I'm thinking we need some armor on the front, we get a we get a cannon in there or something of the like, and then some side flamethrowers and such. So I still would like to figure out how I get this plow on here properly. This just does not, it just does not feel right. I mean, this, it needs to be flipped from this, is my thought. And I don't know, I, I just can't get that figured out. So. Let's get some hinges on. And... You know, powered large wheel, powered... Let's just make this thing a behemoth. Oh, and we can mount the saws directly on these wheels. Perfect. Okay. Right. We'll do the same back here. Okay. From there, we can build out our frame a little bit. Make sure... Because the issue we're having is we, we seem to split in half very easily. So let's find and see if we can find a way to prevent that from happening. I'm thinking we're going to put a drill on the front, along with as much armor as we can layer on here. Let's protect those joints.
Now, can we put armor on these? It looks like we actually can. I don't. I feel like that'll damage the performance of our wheels, though. I don't think we want to do that. So, and then let's build up a little bit of a core here. There's no way it looks like to build any sort of sloped armor or anything, but that's okay. Um, trying to think. If we put a flamethrower here, is that going to burn our wheel? No, that shoots out past the wheels. Perfect. So we can put on flamethrowers on either side. Then, I think we can get some shrapnel cannons. Let's get some more armor here. Oh, so interesting. We have to choose what we want to protect. Do we want to protect the top of this, or do we want to protect the front of the... I feel like we got to protect the front, right? I don't know. That's a hard decision, actually. I think let's do the front, though. Oh, we could get a rocket, too. That's cool. So... What do these braces do? Click to drag a brace between two points. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I like that. Let's get some braces on here and parts that don't need armor, like, necessarily. So now let's try and armor this up as much as we can. Hopefully we have enough horsepower here to keep moving. <laughs> that would become a problem very fast. Okay. Um, let's rotate this around. All right, um, let's see what happens, I guess. This thing is a monster, though, compared to the other one we had, so. All right, so I believe Y launches the rockets, if I remember right. No, T launches the rockets, Y does the flamethrowers, and then C does the cannons. Okay, so T, Y, and C, got it. Oh, hold on. How did we fall apart here immediately? Um, that's weird. Maybe we need to put a... Maybe we need to put some supports in here. Yeah, it's actually... This is actually probably a good idea in general is to build out some supports between, like, on the undercarriage here. Okay. Now let's try this. Oh, yeah, we stay together now. Oh, but our rocket launcher fell off. How? Is it not mounted properly? Is that the issue? Maybe because there's no... 
Although I don't I don't really think we need the rocket launcher if I'm being completely honest. So let's just get rid of it. Okay. All right, we're doing damage now and we're staying together. I think we got this in the bag this time. Oh, we are completely on fire though. Oh, we won. <laughs> All right, that was tough. Oh my. All right, let's keep progressing here. We need to add a piston. Steal and deliver two iron ore. Oh, wow. Our vehicle is not useful at all to do this. Okay. So where does it want me to add a piston? The bottom, I suppose? Or, I guess... The best spot to put it might be... Somewhere around here. Select the key mapper tool. Okay. H. Yeah. Well, this thing also needs to be, like, completely rotated. This block is not in the right spot. What exactly is this doing here? I don't know. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so H8 picks us up. Okay. So. Let me come over here and push this over to where we need to be. Okay, there's one. We've knocked off our flamethrowers. <laughs> oh, I see what they want us to do. They want us to... To use the pistons to pick ourselves up on these stairs and knock this iron ore off. Okay. I'm having a hard time turning, I'm noticing. I don't think these pistons are doing us a whole lot of favors, although we actually can use them to, to pivot a little bit. So, there we go. Oh boy. Come on. Can we get it? Oh, we're ripping ourselves apart. Oh, I think we got it, though. Perfect. Okay. Good. Without having to completely build a new vehicle. This is a standing stone. Destroy. Okay. Seems simple enough. Want to get rid of those pistons and build this here and get the rocket launcher. Okay. Oh, why does the rocket launcher keep falling off? I don't understand how to mount this thing. Oh, I actually see it doesn't have a bottom attachment point. Okay. I now understand why we could not mount that. So let's build up and build out, I would say. And we're going to need to go something like this to build a rocket platform. Because then we should be able to mount it like this? No, see it's not it's not mounting properly. Unless we need to somehow hold it down with these these supports, I guess. That could work. See if that works for us. Oh yeah, that holds them on. And then what was the button to launch them? Y? No. T. Oh. 
That is interesting. Oh, oh, I now understand. Okay, so those are, I thought this was a launcher. These are the, the whole, this is the whole rocket in general. So I don't, yeah, I do not want those. Those are not what I'm interested in. Okay, so we just want to build a cannon, a tall cannon tower here and launch a cannonball at this thing. And I actually think the pistons will come back in handy if we put these on. Um, where was the piston, though? There it is. Suspension. No, that's not what we want. We want a piston. There we go. Piston, piston... Okay, well, why can we only put down one piston? I don't, don't quite get that. So I think we can remove one of these, and then uh, I see what's happening. We're at like a build limit, basically, is what it's doing. So piston, piston, okay, and then we need a cannon. Let's move back down. Cannon. Okay, this is a little janky, but let's uh, extend the pistons and fire the cannon. Oh, we were short. Okay. All right, I think that'll work, though. So let's move forward a little bit. Oh, it is shooting at me. We'll shoot back. Oh, we missed, though. Okay. get ourselves aligned here piston cannon nice okay we got it we destroyed ourselves in the process but we hit it <laughs> uh we got a fort here use explosives to destroy 40 percent all right well i think we need to let's hit f1 here to reset the camera Don't think those are going to be very useful. I think what we should do is put these, build one more on top. We'll put this in the middle. And what I'm curious here is if we can. Build a little bit of a platform. Just shoot a bunch of rockets at this thing and see what happens. So it's, what is it, T to launch the rockets? It sure is. Oh, those did not explode. A lot at all. Okay. Uh, wow, that did like no damage. All right, so that's not gonna work. So how do I use a bomb? Well, this is the only block able to destroy brick. Well, I guess we don't have to survive. That's not a requirement. We can can just make a battering ram vehicle. Oh, okay. Not what I wanted to do. So... I want to kind of just delete everything here. I want to see if I can make something that can fly. Not letting me delete those. There we go. So, aerodynamic propeller, lift direction when hovering over it. 
Mind block. So we can add wings. Okay, so we can add wings and whatnot. So like this is gonna be some kind of a what was it? What was the button we needed to press? It was O to fly. So okay, this makes like a whirly gig type of deal. Okay. So if we do O and then can we can we aim though, or can we steer is the question. No, not like this. So that just brings us forward. I suppose, though, if we put on um, maybe some hinges or something, we could use that to allow us to adjust our wing tilt. So if we go O, uh, that did not. <laughs> oh, yeah. That hinges, see, I need to rotate the actual hinges, I think. Right? Let me think about how this is going to work here. What is the wing panel? So, we could make a could make kind of a helicopter if we built up a little bit, put a... We don't need a hinge. We need something that completely rotates. Swivel joint, maybe? That looks like it should work. So... We put on four of these and make a little propeller. Even put one of these on top to give us some extra lift. Oh, wow. Okay. So what's the button we need to press for the joint to get the joint to work? Swivel joint. I don't know if that's... That might not be the right thing to use, I guess, is the question. Oh, yeah. Spinning block. Duh. Okay. Spinning block. There we go. And then I can't tell. Let's go spin that way. Yeah. All right. I believe we have the propellers in the right orientation here. All right. So we have a we have a flying machine. I don't think it's that controllable. Do we need do we need this though? Is the question. We just have no way of steering is kind of the issue. So we're also not really getting enough lift, so maybe we do need one of these to get us up into the air. And I'm almost wondering if we can just kind of attach a bomb onto this thing and fly it in there. The issue is we just don't have a lot of control. Boulder, bomb. See, what's the method of delivering a bomb? I guess is the question. Without it just falling off your the front of your device. What does a decoupler do, I wonder? That let us carry a bomb? Oh. Duh. Okay. A holder. That would be useful. <laughs> Why don't we just use that? It's actually, there we go. Let 
then where was that holder at? Right here. And we're going to need something to, like, set the bombs off. So... <laughs> this is probably not my most brilliant piece of construction here, but... We'll just shoot it with a cannon. Oh, okay. So maybe we need to start on the ground. There we go. So now the bombs don't fall. <laughs> So let's go and get closer here and try not to blow ourselves up in the process. Then... We got it! Alright, good enough. <laughs> Destroy 90% of everything. Knights, tents, and cannons. Alright. So I think I want to get the drill back on the front. And get a whole lot of shrapnel cannons here. Get the saws on the wheels. I think then we just get a bunch of armor plating maybe and that might be good enough. Let's see what happens. Well, their cannons missed us. That's convenient. Oh, we just blew ourselves to bits, though. Is that really our own cannons? That did? yeah. Okay, so we can't we can't withstand the weight of our own cannons going off. Okay, so let's let's put on a brace here. We can run one to the back here too and run out over here to make sure we're holding on. Okay. See, we weren't. We're not shooting. I, we almost need to. Those only work from like point blank range, so I think we should just swap back to the normal cannons. Those seem to actually work pretty well. Yeah, look, that just goes right through them all. Alright, took out one of the cannons, took out the other cannon. Let's drive into the camp here. I think we're going to need to eventually... I think we need to go back to just two powered wheels, because it's pretty hard to control. So let's delete this wheel, delete this wheel. Let's get an unpowered large wheel. And keep the saws and whatnot, but I think sticking with front wheel drive is probably the way to go. Until, of course, we lose our wheels, then we start to have problems. Alright, um, okay. So, even the cannons don't seem to be doing a whole lot of damage. Heating crossbows? I'll give a crossbow shot, see what happens. Now yeah, we're still not succeeding very well here. Ha <laughs> ha. 
All right, let us think more critically about our decisions here. And I managed to delete this out. Okay. So what what is a good weapon? I'm struggling here about, I mean, the flamethrowers seem to do a great job. If we just use all flamethrowers or something, I don't know. Got a feeling the drill is just going to rip off the flamethrowers from us. Where's the wooden panel? Oh, okay, the wooden panel covers up some stuff. It's like we can put that there to cover up the flamethrowers a little bit. Oh, that's not bad. Um, still don't know if this is going to work, though. Uh, we catch ourselves on fire too easily is the problem. Hmm. Okay, let's go back to the drawing board here. <laughs> decisions, decisions. I think we really need to scrap a lot of this. This is just not a good design in general. Yes, really, it's not so much an issue that the wheels were powered, it's that we put them on... It's that we put these ones on hinges. I don't think they need to be on hinges back here. Oh yeah, there we go. So yeah, that's already a lot more controllable. I do want to... make it so... These are the same width, though. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. Um, let's delete off these two side panels. Let's fill this all in here. So we can drop a couple of shrapnel cannons here. Couple of flamethrowers here. I need some armor plating. Like so. Armor this all up. Then let us Get some flamethrowers on the side. Get a saw on there, saw on there. Flamethrowers on the side. Then... Not shrapnel cannons. Let's get some regular cannons up here. Now 
can't fit a cannon in there. Oh yeah, because we have the armor plates on. That's fine. Um, okay. Armor up a little bit. Actually, think I'd like to do that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, I mean, see what happens. So, C for cannons, and what is it for flamethrower? Y for flamethrower. Let's fire off the cannons. Let's fire up the flamethrowers. See, we just fall apart so easily. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right. Um, I think it's, I think a lot of it is the key is these undercarriage braces that we can put on. Let's see if this withstands a little bit better. Let's crank on the flamethrowers. See, we're still just catching ourselves on fire way too easily. Eh. Not enough. Okay. So let's ditch the flamethrowers, I guess. I mean, what if we just go in only with the, the melee? Just a super armored... Only a physical attacker. We armor up really heavily here. Let's just see what we can do, I think. Oh, let's make sure we armor up this part here, too. Alright. Kind of a little turtle going on here now. There we go. Okay. Well, that was... Kiss principles, I guess. We just gotta keep it simple. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can beat one more level here. Destroy 80% of the monument. Okay. Well, I think uh, I think this is another hinges with the cannons here. So let's lift up off the ground just a little bit. And let's get some hinges down, or pistons, I mean. I put a piston on the bottom of his, I sure can. And then, once we have that, can we build up? Let's see what happens. Let's see how short we are if we just put on one cannon. So, okay. H for the piston, C for the cannon. Oh, wow. Perfect. All right. Okay, that was actually really quick. Let's see what this next level looks like. See if we can't beat this too. Well, this looks pretty tough. Destroy 50% of the towers. That's all the bombs, right? This this cannon won't do anything, I don't think. Oh, that was a miss. <laughs> okay, I think this is where we're going to stop this episode of Prickles Plays, everybody. So I hope you have enjoyed. This has been Besiege. 
Uh, this has been Prickles Gaming as well, and I will see you all in the next episode.